Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Trailmakers. I'm continuing the campaign today, Stranded in Space. We need to engineer your way off a stranded planet by collecting parts that are scattered all about the place. But first a massive thank you to today's sponsor, EVE Online. Now you've probably heard of EVE Online, but if you haven't, it's basically a huge sci-fi universe where all the players are online at the same time. And it is possible for them to interact with each other because they're all on the same server, which is just mind boggling. Now EVE sort of does quarterly updates, so four times a year, there's massive updates to the game called Quadrants, packed with exciting events, game features, balance updates, all sorts. Each quadrant has a unique theme focused on a specific aspect of EVE Online. Now this next quadrant is called Gateway, and it will open the door to the EVE universe for many new pilots. So if you're looking to get into EVE, now's the best time to get into it. The launch of Gateway also introduces a brand new story-driven training experience for rookie pilots in EVE Online, which sort of like trains you up, it teaches you all the basics. But it's not just tutorials, it's a really immersive experience with dynamic visuals and an improved UI, all aiming to help new players take the first steps in EVE. The launch of Gateway also introduces brand new skill plans, and these will sort of streamline new players' advancement. So basically they help you set goals in the early parts of the game, and now they're simpler to use and look great, and you can even get recommendations on what to train for in EVE. With these updates signalling a new dawn on the horizon for New Eden, there's never been a better time to start, continue, or return to playing EVE. So if this sounds of interest to you, register through the link below and save almost three weeks of training time by getting a million skill points and jumping straight into the action. It'll be launching on the Epic Games Store on the 23rd of September. Thanks once again EVE Online for sponsoring, but let's get back to Trailmakers. Uh, right, I think I need to look at the map, don't I? I could try and do these underwater ones. I could build like a little submarine and then, yeah, there's a lot of underwater ones. Shall we do that? Shall we build a sub? Can I build like in the water? Is that a good idea? I've got to get back to land, haven't I, actually? Yeah, I'll start with this car and I'll turn it into a sub, I think. So I remembered last time I unlocked like a... Uh... Oh no, I don't have an underwater seat. Does a, cock... Does a cockpit allow me to go underwater? Okay, let's let's open the map. So people that know this game, where do I get the diving seat? How do I move? There you go. Right, tell me where to go, chat. I believe you. The diving bell is on an island on the left side of the map. Ooh, could be there, four meters. I'm going to go over to that one, I think, because it's, it's pretty close. Stop pressing escape, Matt, you tip. So on this island, let's have a look. Oh god, I forgot this acts like a dolphin. It starts going underwater a bit. And if we go too underwater, we uh, we fall out the car until we get this seat. Am I on the right island? Ah, oh, yes, okay, so it's to my right. Where the hell is it hiding? Oh, it's in a hole. Diving bell. That's what we want. That's what we want. Good work, lads. Good work. Right, let's turn my magnet on and try and scoop it out of there. Bollocks. <laughs> right, we're gonna have to build something to get it out. Oh, crap, I'm stuck as well. Okay, okay. What can we do here? I reckon we can build a sort of a crane. I haven't used the pistons yet, so we'll have a go at that, shall we? What I reckon, I think move this to the back somewhere. We'll just let it float there for now. I'm gonna build a little bit of a... What do we want? We want, like, frame... Just some blocks. We'll keep it Lego style-y. Yeah, that should be okay. And then what do the pistons look like then? So, is it bound gadgets? Is it a gadget? Oh, of course, I can just throw a metal crate at <laughs> Or concrete wall. I don't, I really don't understand why they will ever be useful. Maybe, maybe I'll find out in the future. Aerodynamic mechanic has got to be that. Piston, there we go. So we got, I think we got like two ways. We could do like a steering hinge. We could like stick it on the back, pointing down. And as we turn, it could flick up. I'll try that. I think that could be a bit of a cheeky way of doing it. So I think I want to want to move that under there. I want it nice and low to the ground. Sweet. And then hopefully I can just wang this on the back of it. Okay, so right makes it go down. So reverse up. We turn the thing on. Right. There you go. Now go left. Yes, look at that. It's down and now it's up. Yay, we did it. And to be fair, we can probably just keep it like that because it doesn't really matter if it spins about, I don't think. Uh, where are you taking it? Back over there. Nice. Oh God, it's a bit heavy. It's a bit arse heavy. Steering's a bit difficult for some reason. We're trying to drift. Go left, go left. Sorted. Now we can be a submarine. Nice. Ooh, there's a blueprint. Shall I just use that? I should probably just use the blueprint, shouldn't I? Keep it simple like. Uh, right, so auto build. No, activate. Clear build. Yes, delete everything. Auto build. Oh, look at it go. So that's how they've decided to do a submarine. Okay. The only downside I can see 
is we can't then put it on land. It's not amphibious. I, I just want to know like how it turns. Like, can that turn? So I'm just gonna just gonna have a little play. Oh yeah, so it does just turn. Okay, that's good to know. So I don't need I don't need a snake dog anymore. How does it go down? Space seems to go forward. Oh, Q and E to dive. E. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, hang on. Hang on a sec. Bloody hell, this is a bit lumpy bum. What the? F okay, so I think you use space to move. Oh, I'm a dolphin. Whoa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Belly flop. Oh, man, I am. Can I do a backflip? Ready? Ready? <laughs> yes. Ow. No. Okay. I think I sort of know how this works now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna build my own. I'm gonna go build a better one. Or should I just I should probably just build it in the water, shouldn't I? Right, so B for build. Why is it dark? We're stuck in the dark now. Okay, so diving bell. Bell. It would be called that, wouldn't it? So that's there. It looks like it connects at the back. So let's grab some blocks. So we'll wang that on the back. Oh no, I don't want blocks, do I? I don't want blocks. I want bloody Floaty things. What are they called? A buoyancy control device. Convert snake dog to a sub. Oh, I could actually. Shall I do that? Because snake dog will still be useful, won't it? Oh, that was the crazy snake dog with um with a jet engine on the back. Jet engine, not that useful underwater. So get rid of that. Uh, actual engines, kind of useful. So I think just replace these with the adjustable ones. So we got a load of pellery things underneath. Look at some of these vehicles. <laughs> Pain erectus with inverse capitals. Love it. Yeety McFeety. Fast chat said nothing. Fast chat doubted me again. <laughs> I love watching your paddy videos. He was helping me in the garden earlier. He wasn't being a pain at all. He has been a very good dog. <laughs> paddy. <laughs> He's ripped a plant out of the pot. So I need the seat. So that seat's got to go. Can I just... Wang that on the top. Should I put it at the front? I feel like subs should have that at the front. Because then we can see what's going on. You're not connected. You need to rotate. I think that's good. I'm going to see if this floats and stuff. So this is sub dog. Okay. It's sort of floating. We're going down. <laughs> We're driving on the bottom. <laughs> uh, I think I need to configure the controls a bit. Oh god. Look. We're going backwards now. Oh look. We're still snake dogging. Uh, help. <laughs> okay. Down makes us sink. I think I need to move where my man's located. I'll get there in no time. To be fair, this is actually working quite well underground. Like the ball is sort of steering it nicely. <laughs> right, yeah. Let's rebuild. A little front heavy. Let's move us somewhere in the middle, I think. Okay, we're still arse light. Let's move everything back a bit. Try that. There you go. Now front heavy. So that did quite a lot. There you go, just a bit of trial and error to get us on the right. I could maybe go back there now, do you think? Oh, I hold it, and they inflate different amounts. Oh. Hang on, why are we wonky? Oh, I've put the engines on the wonk. <laughs> hang on, hang on a sec. You go down there. All right, that's better. Right, so shall we try and get those sort of semi-floating ones? I mean, they are, well, they're not floating at all. They're on pillars. Let's try and aim for that. So I think we want to hold down. Oh, God. No, this isn't good. Back to the surface. Back. <laughs> Do I need like wider ones or something? Right, okay. Straight down. Don't touch anything. And slow my descent. No, we're now front light heavy. What? <laughs> Alright, right, let's move them that way a bit. Oh, there you go. That looks pretty spot on. The back is slightly light. I think that should be doable though. Right, let's get over to there. So we're flat. Let's go down. Oh, not too bad. <gasps> no, we're tilting. We're tilting. <laughs> why? <laughs> right, I think let's sink. And then we'll just do it upside down. Sod it. Oh, I know why we're tilting. Because my thing's underneath. Okay, we're an upside down sob now. Let's move forward. Turn the magnet on. Oh, that's actually... That's going to be perfect. Oh, it's not even a thing. It's bloody money. God damn. I feel like I need to, like, move these about. So I've got some on the front, some on the back. If that makes sense. Put weight under it. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're all right. I was trying to keep it car-ish. But I don't think amphibious submarine is going to be possible, really, is it? Oh, God, it's so horrible to steer. <laughs> anyway, let's try and get that one over there. This is terrible. <laughs> Come on, snake sub. You got this. Yes. No, we missed it. All right, got to go down. Got to go down. Easy. Nice. Now inflate. 
Oh dear. Oh, well, we are taking it. Are we floating? <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to get to land, if I'm honest. All right, ready? We're going in reverse. We will get there. It's just... <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> what is this? I think I need to go bigger. Go big or go home. Oh, that is actually working quite well. And we should be able to... Oh no, it's a bit low. We're not going to be able to do much driving, I don't think. We might make it. We might do. Just believe. Just... Oh! <laughs> there you go. Easy. <laughs> Can't believe that semi worked. Drag it in like a caterpillar. Nice. Yeah, so if you haven't seen this game, you basically need to collect like what I just picked up, the cube, and take it to one of these lighty things. You can see there's like a load of different ones on the map. They're like straight line lights and uh, you get different parts. So yeah, that one was an inverted corner, which is very useful. <laughs> Said no one. But yeah, I think we'll just sort of clean up the sea. So if you look at that, like the box that salvage is in, like the darker sort of rectangle. Like if you look in the top right corner, there's nothing. If you look on this one, there's like a little icon. That's like a rocket icon. And uh, the sort of mission in this thing is to collect all the rocket parts and then you can build a rocket. You can escape into space. Basically, I'm stranded on a planet. Planet Doom, I believe it's called. And uh, you can see on the left, my progress, I've got 68% of the spaceship part. So yeah, where are we heading? We're going directly left. Come on, snake sub. Oh God. Shit, you know. It's sort of working. <laughs> like a really agitated fish. Speed! Oh god, we've gone under. I didn't mean to go under yet. Oh, we're doing it. <laughs> I am just a whale at this stage. Uh, right, so where is it? Oh, I think I can see it. It's under that rock. How the shits we're going to get over there, I do not know. I don't know the death count. This might surprise you, but it's actually zero. Look, I'm doing this intentionally. So I'm doing a flip down and then we drive forward. Oh crap, oh crap. It was going so well. People were falling for my skills. <laughs> right, this might look like I don't know what I'm doing, but actually it's all part of the plan. I'm just sneaking my way to, hang on, where was it? Where was it? Let's have a look on the map. Oh, it's above me. So I'm going to float up a bit like a good floater. <laughs> we'll try and see where, I don't know if it's in that cave. It might be in the cave rather than way up. Oh yeah, I think I, think I could see it. Oh, how the hell am I going to get through those gaps? <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is all part of the plan. I'm just lining her up. Oh, it's a power core. That's a good one. So power cores, they allow you to have like either engines or other cool stuff like the magnets. They allow you to add more of them. So if I want more power, which why wouldn't I want more power? This is what I need. And I should probably repair first. Just so I've got all my thing. Ah, shit, we're floating. We're floating. Go down, go down. All right, magnet on. See, I'm literally driving underwater. This vehicle is genius. All right, now float. Wait, that one's float. We're going up. We're not going up. We're doing a... Oh, God. There you go. Now we go this way. <laughs> it's okay. I know, I know what I'm doing. Speed run strats. Uh, what way am I trying to go? I think this way. Ooh, not too much this way. I'm actually pointing the other direction to this. I'm pointing in that direction. So I want to go right-ish. So I, oh, I think it's that, that block of light over there. There you go. We made oh wrong direction. I want to go right, which is actually left. Uh haven't thought this bit through. I need to spin around. Come on, you got this map. Come on, power. Yes. Yes. Come on, snake sub. Just wiggle. Okay, what if I repair? <gasps> get it, get it, get it, get it. Quick. Oh bollocks. Oh, I could I can probably drive out from here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> the snake sub does it again! Wiggle power. Now it's a wet dog. It probably smells off. That is true. Wet dogs stink. Like even Paddy, he's like the nicest smelling dog I've ever smelt. And I've smelt a lot of dogs. But when he gets wet, stinking. Uh, I've got three unused power cores. I can make this so much quicker. Oh wait, I can't just drive underwater. I can just drive underwater. I don't need to float. This is way better. I'm going to get that one first, I think. So to my right-ish. So over there. I think over there. All right. So as usual, we'll just head upside down because that's the most efficient way to <laughs> travel for any vehicle. That's not just because I've designed this poorly. Okay. Just heading down to the bottom. Nice. This is peak engineering. If you don't understand what I'm doing, that's fine. You just haven't obviously got your engineering qualifications yet. How about you get the ones in the cluster? So, 
I'll show you those in a sec once we get a bit closer to where we're trying to go. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> oh, bollocks, there's a wall. So if we look on the map, so these ones, can you see the altitude? 950 meters. So they're like way in the sky. I need to get like a flying thing. So I think it's up here, I reckon. Maybe around the back of it. Balls, there's nothing up there. Or can I squeeze through? I've squeezed through. I don't know if I'm meant to. Shit. Oh no, that wasn't a death. No, that wasn't a death. <laughs> that was a glitch. It was a glitch. All right, where? Are oh god, I'm miles away. It's like way behind me. What way's forward? All right, we might have to go through this cavey thing. Now let's let's repair. Deflate. Let's try. Let's drive around the bottom. I reckon it might be up here. Oh, there it is. It's a power core. Then I'll have four unused power cores. All right, I assume I got to go back the way I came in. Oh god, we're gonna have to jump. Jump. Huh. Yes. Shit. No. Reverse. That's it. You can get out. Yes. No, we lost a pod. We've lost another pod too. The sea is like huge. This is the first time I've been underwater. Look, it's Nemo. I found Nemo. Oh, he's gone. Shall I repair? I'm going to repair. Crap. Right. Sink, sink, sink. No, that's a fail. That's a fail. Repair. Sink. Right, quick. We've got to get after it. We've got to get after it. It's rolling away. It's fine, it's fine. Never in doubt. Right, now inflate. Whoa. Here we go. And then help him out. And as usual, I'll do the forward flip, back flip maneuver to get to the surface. It's the opposite of a falling leaf. Uh, very efficient for submarines. You'll see actual submarines, like all the new nuclear ones. They all do this. <laughs> right, that's actually annoying me now. Come on, come on. There we go. We're almost at the surface. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. The falling leap just like snowboarding, yes, quite right. Although for snowboarding it's more of like a beginner's technique, whereas for submarining it's like exceptional pro. It's like beyond pro, it's a very very advanced technique. The rising leaf, yes, quite right. Right, so as usual we'll use our driver's seat to keep us in the right direction. Can we get in? Ah, Can we roll over? Okay, I think we might have to drop that there. Can we stop it rolling? Yes, repair. No, we freaking sat on it. <laughs> God damn it, sob dog. All right, under it. Stick you to my knob. Knob? No. <laughs> Why did I say that? I meant nose. <laughs> Knobs on the brain. All right, we've got four unused power cores. I don't know if I want to make this any faster because it's terrifying as it is. Uh, but I'm going to. So I'm going to nab those. Copy. I'm just going to rotate it about that way and bung them on the top. So I think I want... I'm just going to do like two rows of two. Because then... The forces will balance and it'll all be fine. Yep, cool. So it done. That's better, definitely. So we're going to go to these two, just south of Paddy Island. Power! It's trying to go upside down again. I won't let it. I will let it because it's more efficient to go upside down. I'll tell you what, I might put my thing on the back because this... <laughs> I got I to gotta sort this. I got to sort this. So I'm thinking, do I just shove this there? To the untrained eye, it doesn't look very efficient because you can't really see where you're going. But I think it might work better. Now I'll move these engines to the front. All right, let's see what that does. Oh, that's quite well balanced, actually. That's not actually that bad, although it does go down. Why are you facing down? All right, let's get into the... Oh, frig me. We got some air there. Right, so I think I've spotted one. It's on that pillar straight ahead of me. So we'll go get that. Deflate. And let's see if we stay balanced. Bollocks. <laughs> Still upside down. Oh shit, mind that, mind that. Alright, we'll get closer. Oh, I think we might be able to get it. If I can... Falling leaf into... Oh crap, no. I was way off, I was way off. <laughs> Alright, we need to do the rising leaf again. The rising leaf. Ready? This is called the elevator, this move. So it's like a drive-by. Blop. And then... Whoosh! To the surface! Oh god, we're gonna get some air. Oh, yes! <laughs> nice. All right, I think we're fully inflated, so we've just got to go back. Oh, shit. All right, there we go. Sorted. That was actually pretty quick. Snake Dog is the best. That wasn't actually too bad. Like, considering I was upside down for most of it, pretty good. Oh, look, and we made it in. Yes. Wiggle. Ah, oh, yes, the wiggle. <laughs> the wiggle is extremely powerful. Wow, I went through the map then. All right, so we're going back to the same spot to get the other one. So we'll deflate and head down. All right, we'll do the falling leaf down. Just a bit more efficient. What is that? Is that my rocket? I think that's my spaceship. 
I think I was in a spaceship and I got hit by like a meteor. And that's how I ended up here. I think it might be under this. So we'll falling leaf just to get under there. There it is. Can you see it under there? Sneaky. Right, so we will repair the flate straight away. And then we can just drive under there. Shit. Don't turn too fast, Matt. Oh no, it's a big mofo. A beach ball dispenser. <laughs> oh, so many useful items in this game. Trouble is, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to float with that. So I might have to rebuild this and just add a few more on. So let's look at doing that. I think I actually got, I've got like giant pontoons. Yeah. Ah, shit. No, we're floating too much. Ah, unfloat. What's the unfloat button? Down. Oh no, they're just pontoons. They're not submergible, submergible ones. <laughs> Oops. I need the submarine ones. What? Oh no, it killed me. Stop, stop, stop. I think I just died again. Oh, frig. Where's my car? This is not good. I just need the classic sub dog. That's all I need. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drive it out, get close to the beach, and then do the pontoon -y stuff. We'll grab this. We really need the beach ball dispenser to be able to progress anywhere in this game. Ah. You kidding me? Why? How's that a death? Where's it gone? Oh, it's over there now. All right, pull that out. All right, inflate. I think we're good. I think we can get to the surface. Yes. Power. Power. All right, and then we just head back to the thing. I don't know what it's called. The thing. We are floating though, so I don't need the large pontoons yet. I might do when I get close. What would you need a beach ball dispenser for? Oh, many things. Uh, yeah, dispense beach balls is the primary purpose, I would have thought. What kind of architect designed this sub? Does this look elegant and beautiful? <laughs> this is built for engineering. Pure efficiency. Doesn't matter what it looks like. All right, we are going to get on land. Come on, just power, power, power. Bollocks. Oh no, that's good, that's good. All right, repair. Don't go mental. Sub dog does it again. Yes! Oh, right, and we've got we've got to try the beach ball dispenser. We've got a double-barreled beach ball dispenser. Holy sh... <laughs> right, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Fire! Oh, no, it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, what a shame. At least we got to see the shape. <laughs> uh, right, well, anyway, guys, cheers for joining. <laughs> Peace, love, and bridges. I nearly forgot to say it. Peace, love, bridges. Bye.